Good day, my name is Niall Matthews, Chairman of Lakeland Dairy since February 2021. I'm farming here in partnership with my wife Joanna at Tully, County Loud, which is just on the border with County Monaghan. So I'm third generation of my family to be farming here in Tully on this farm. My parents, Mary and Jerry, they were here before me and my father, he would have inherited it from his father. I finished school in the early 90s went to UCD, done Ag Science for four years, and graduated in 98, worked with a meal firm in Monaghan, Patton's for two years, and then moved to Chagas in Mead and then Monaghan. Um, at the same time, we were, I was developing the farm here in conjunction with my parents. So I suppose as they were winding down, I was winding up on the farm. Combined the two, working with Chagas and, and building up the farm till about 2013 when I stopped working with Chagas and concentrated on the farming. Married Joanna, so I'm, at the moment I'm farming in partnership with Joanna. Married Joanna in 2006, built up cow numbers then from, I took over the, officially say in 2010. Uh, I've been building up cow numbers steadily after that. At the moment, we're milking about 220 cows on a spring calving grass-based system. We start calving in early February and aim to be finished around the 1st of May. Predominantly black and white Holstein Frisian herd. Average production for the last few years has been in around 535, 40 kilos of milk solids, doing about 6,700 litres per cow, feeding in around a tonne or slightly over a tonne of concentrate. Lakelands is in a good position at the moment. There was a merger with Lac Patrick just over two years ago, and that has proved a great success. We're seeing the benefits of that merger now in terms of uh, economies and scale. What do I see for the future? Milking about 220 cows, grass-based system. We have three kids, they're, they're fairly young yet, in their early teens, so it's hard to say whether they'll be interested in it at this moment, so we won't be pressurising them. Probably like to see them finishing out their school and, and maybe a few years in college, and then it's up to them to decide. The farm itself in the meantime, fairly highly stocked. We're probably at about 3.4, 3.5 cows to the hectare on the milking platform. Fairly, for our system of production on grass, we're maybe at the maximum stocking rate that we can, we can carry on, on the existing milking platform. Look, we'll, we'll be trying to add value to what we have already through breeding, probably increase in fat and protein percentage in the milk. Probably in the last 10 years, the extra fat and protein percentage in the milk has added four to five cent a litre over the, 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 the price per litre we were getting 10 years ago. And, and I'd like to think that'll continue now with, with good breeding in the future. And who's to say in, in 10 years, we should be up at another four or five cent a litre from fat and protein. We'd probably be targeting 5% fat, 4% protein in our milk. Aside from that, look, there's improvements always to be got in, in terms of fertility, in six week calving rate, lowering our empty rate, improvements in, in grassland management, maybe increasing tons grown and tons utilised. So they're the things that we can do within our existing holding. And look, we'd always be open to opportunities outside the farm whether that's new, you know, replicating our air system on, on another land base somewhere else, we're, we're open to that type of ideas too. So.